Hello, Georgia Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Uh, this will be the last white on white card this week. As this will be shown on a Friday. To make this card I used Butterfly, Gar uh, Butterfly Brilliance dies for, to cut this out and a mask I made, a home mask I made using one of my dies. The dots come from Quiet Meadow. I just used them splatter dots there. Uh, these are the Butterfly Brilliance dies and I used this butterfly here. And also these and I just cut out one and I cut that out in vellum. This is the new vellum in the new catalogue, it's in the in colours and you get 10 sheets 12 by 12 and I've just cut a bit off and it's shiny on one side as you can tell maybe and on the other side it's just matte and I have cut that butterfly out there's the shiny side So, oh, I need to get this butterfly out. That is that one, isn't it? Yeah. So we need to cut him out. Him, it out. The sentiment has come from the many messages, which I have here. I've got another one. I've got a box full of many messages. And... Yeah, so that's where the sentiments come from. So, let's cut the butterfly first. We don't need to do the background. On this one, it has got a piece of vellum underneath it. And because I don't have the... I think I used soft sea foam on this. All I did was got normal vellum and coloured it in. And that's how I got my blue behind that butterfly. Right, bring this back. I need, I don't think that's big enough. No. Nope. Don't think I've got a bit of scrap big enough. No, I'll have to make a bit. tape this down because I found with this sometimes you need to cut them twice right. now what I'm going to do Turn my plates and put it through again. Yeah, that's cut out well. Drop all the bits out that want to come out. There we are. One butterfly. Couldn't remember what it was then. Let's get rid of all them bits. Don't need them. 
I don't need that. Right, put this back in here. And we'll concentrate on our background. Now, what a bit of scrap. I have got this background and this is a cutout from a Sizzix die I have. A big 5x7 Sizzix die. As you can see I've used it loads of times. So I'm just going to put that on there. And all we're going to do is using pale papaya and smoky slate and we're just going to colour in some of the mask. Right, I'm not going to have a brush for... There's my grey one. What's this one? There. That'll do for that one. So. Ink up my brush. And just, just want to go diagonal down, not too much. That'll do on that one. Then I want to add some smoky slate. And I'll just randomly pick some places to put some smoky slate. And that's what that looks like. them away and put these away. Now with basic grey and my splatter dots I'm going to stamp off and then just stamp on Like that. So all I did, just put some splatter dots over the surface. That one came out a little bit darker than I wanted it, but it doesn't matter. Now this will go on top of here. And as you can see I've got an overhang which I am going to trim down once I've glued the butterfly on there. So I'm having the shiny side up. Oops. Making sure we've got it. All glued down. And we'll glue this. Right at the top. I'm going to take our scissors and we'll just, I'm going to cut it like sideways. My scissors are sideways so that they cut 
underneath the white and don't cut the butterfly, the, yeah, the white bit of the butterfly. So I've got underneath and that way you don't cut the butterfly. And you don't want to be cutting too much off because you have nothing for the white to stick to. we have our butterflies. Butterfly, so there is only one, stuck to the vellum. Looks quite nice. And that will go there. Right, I'm bending the wings up. I cut the vellum off the antenna. That's that one. And do the same the other side. Just trim it down a bit. the antennas aren't with the body. And now I get my bone folder and fold them under. So that when you stick it down your wings stay up like that. And that will go there. And that'll be our card. So let's get sticking down. I'm going to put the piece on the inside. What does my tag say? It says, I'm so happy to celebrate in these moments with you. Now this will go on the front like that and of course we can glue the vellum down because you can't see it So butterfly glued down. The sentiment I'm putting on with dimensionals. Let's get them. As you can see, I made a mistake on that side. And I turned the card over when I stamped them. Actually, the top half was fine. It was the bottom half of the sentiments that were all blurry. So I must have moved it. Right. And that bit will go there. Let me see. Yeah. 
and then just got some gems to add. So on this one I put pearls. So a little pearls. Can't see any small pearls. Let's put some silver ones on this one. Wouldn't that be better? Put these ones down the body. And then we'll put five there's a small one and another small one Two small ones and a big one. And that is my card done. Oh, I don't know what colour I like best. Both quite nice. He's got a wonky body. you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday don't forget to like comment and share all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon